gentlemen. Hi. At the time of glut, as we're all aware, you get too much of everything. We've got too many courgettes and we've got a different take on something to use them for. And what we're going to use them for is a spicy courgette crisp. Now this is garlic and cumin. Now I'm going to be very careful here because I was doing this earlier and took a little chunk off my finger. So uh, I'm hence wearing a glove to uh, to stop any blood getting on it. <laughs> not, not the best of uh, things to do. So I've already sliced one courgette. I'm slicing the other one now. And you want this sliced as thin as possible. We're going to do these in the dehydrator. And this is just a convenient way of getting consistent slices of courgette. Which, as you can see, we now have. So I'll just put that out of the way. And transfer those to the other bowl. And then what we'll do is we'll make the spicy dip. In here, there's two tablespoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of turmeric. I was to put that in there. Put that out of the way. And then to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice, or the juice of half a lemon, approximately. And then on top of, with that also, I'm going to add two tablespoons of good quality olive oil. Now this is an extra virgin olive oil, so hopefully that's good enough. In there. What we do after that is mix that until you've got a taste. As you can see, we've got a, a nice spice paste mix there. Just want to make sure it's well mixed, so I can see bits of red in it where some of the uh, smoked paprika has sat on its own. So I've got that well mixed now. You can see it's, it's a fairly stiff paste. And what, then what we do is we put these courgettes in and stir them in it till they're all coated in the mixture. So you see that nice colour this is giving it and we want, we want all this on these courgettes. Now once that's done we're going to uh, just splitting them to make sure they've all got a nice coating because we don't want just ordinary courgettes crisp. Now I presume you can use lots of different flavours this is just a recipe I got off the internet just browsing the internet and I just found it uh, there's some references to it on other people and say that. Okay, there we are. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to layer these in the dehydrator and then it's going to go on for 12 hours, maybe a little bit longer, dependent upon how thick I've cut them. But as you can see, these are about one and a half millimetre thick. They're not uh, particularly thick, so hopefully that'll be a shorter time. Presume you could do this in the uh, in the oven if you're careful. And a recent magazine which Pauline's got, which a friend of ours put us on to, which we bought from a supermarket, uh, had a packet, some several packets of seeds with it, which was supposed to be. 19 or 20 pounds worth of seed so we bought that and uh, in there there's an article about a lady who made a solar dehydrator that that might be possible now this is going to go on as i say for 12 hours so it's going to be tomorrow before i can show you the results but uh, we'll come back to that and show you i don't want to spend all the time around here with you watching me dropping these on here they, but they are a healthy crisp 
there's no fat in them other than the mar marginal amount of olive oil so apparently you can eat as many of these as you want there's no there's no sins involved i'll show you the results tomorrow 12 hours at 105 degrees fahrenheit top of my head i'll have to convert that because i can't remember what uh, what the conversion is at the present moment speak to you tomorrow with the results Hi. Uh, my dehydrator is just finished. Uh, now we're going to do a reveal if you want to call it that. So start off, let's just have a look. As you can see, these are the spicy courgette crisps. Look at that. Crack like a crisp. Very nice. I think from a personal viewpoint, I'd put a little bit more spice in them. This is my first attempt, and I've just used the recipe. And as you can see, these were like one and a half millimeter thick. There's, there's next to nothing in them now. I believe they'll store for two to three weeks in an airtight container. So I'll put them in. I mean, it took a long time to dehydrate. The temperature said 105 degrees on the recipe, but I'm sorry to say it didn't say whether it was F or C. So I've been playing with it to get the uh, get the right temperature. So it's took me a lot longer while I've been playing. I think really my dehydrator only goes up to 70 degrees C, and I think that's what it really needed. So it's took a while, but as you can see, they look they look right. They taste good. As a little bit more flavour, I think would would help. But um, here we are. I count it as a success. But uh, two courgettes don't give you a lot of these. As we all know, courgettes have got an awful lot of water in them. Uh, I'll just carry on and finish this because I want you to see just how many we got out of two sorts yet. Really, with this type dehydrator, I really should have been looking at using four core jets and filling the dehydrator just to save a little bit on the electric. But as everything says, these are practically sin free, you can eat as many as you want. Nice and crispy. Crispy crisp. But you know it's going to take 12 to 14 hours in this type of dehydrator uh, at maximum temperature I think. But it will be something I will do again and There we are, garlic, cumin, uh, uh, courgette crisps. So if you've enjoyed this, try it yourself and please subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm.